It's time for final day coverage of the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open. A record-setting field of close to 500 anglers will take out onto Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas, looking for the best five bass they can catch to finish the event as high up on the leaderboard as possible. You got him. I got one. Net. Oh, come on. Ooh. Coming up. There she is. There we go, baby. Number one. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's what lives here. All these windblown banks, that's all the fish we're catching right now. On the line today, anglers are competing for over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies, as well as double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. This elite field of nearly 250 teams is going to bring some quality bass to the scales on this final day. Blocks in at 13.48, two day total of 25.99. That takes you out at 26.36, jumps you up into second place, Murray State, with two teams inside the top five at the moment. Goes 13.41, they best that by almost two and a half pounds for the weekend, 28.13. Who can climb their way to the top of the leaderboard and claim the tournament title? Find out next. Give the boat, boat. Woo! How about that one? That's our new leaders right there. Big University of Montevallo, 24-96. The University of Montevallo wins its third straight title. Welcome into this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. On today's show, we will bring you final day coverage of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open from Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas. Man, we're, uh, we're pretty excited. We're leading going out of day one of the Collegiate Bass AFCO Open at Lake Dardanelle, and uh, we're, we're pretty, pretty ecstatic. Following day one action, here are the top 10 teams out of this close to 250 boat field. First through 10th are separated by less than two and a half pounds, meaning that just about anybody has a shot at putting together a quality limit and taking home the victory. We're .02 away from the lead, so uh, hoping for another blessed day. Hopefully a good Lord above provides, and uh, we're just going to go bass fishing today and see where it stands at the end of the day. We are currently sitting in third place going into day two. Um, yesterday we were honestly shocked with the amount of fish that we caught, and um, we caught keepers. We only had one keeper in practice. So yesterday catching five keepers, especially of that magnitude, was an extreme accomplishment for us. On day one of tournament competition, anglers reported catching bass on a variety oh, of bass. different tactics, ranging from topwaters to crankbaits and even finesse presentations. Weather conditions today are very similar to what anglers faced on day one, so teams should be able to target the same backwaters and main lake rocky shorelines that produced for them yesterday. So, you know, we're fishing with the wind. We're sitting there, we have the troll motor on high and we are covering water. We are fishing about uh, two seconds away from the boat ramp. So, you know, we're not using much gas, but like I said, our troll motors are dead at the end of the day. The weather today, um, being so windy, we're gonna try and find some areas that are a little more protected. And, you know, we're gonna find some, try and find some wood, fish a couple new areas, and just see what happens. Today, the full field of close to 500 anglers will be going out in search of the best five bass they can catch. Following the conclusion of weigh-in this afternoon, a winner will be crowned, over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies paid out, as well as double points awarded towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. A victory today would be very valuable for both the winning anglers and their team. In the School of the Year race, we're setting third right now. Um, and to do, to do good here and have, actually we got two boats in the top 10 and to keep that and even to win, it'd be, it'd be huge. It'd be monumental for Murray State University. It'd be a lot, we don't have one and uh, Coach was saying that last night that he, he wouldn't want anybody else uh, but us to, get, to win it. So hopefully we can, uh, good Lord blesses us and we do that today. Let's go out on the water now and start our coverage with the day one leaders, Archer Smith and Jackson Kulioff from top 10 ranked Murray State. Uh, spot number one, it's just wind blown areas. Uh, we found uh, day, yesterday, day one of the tournament, that um, the shad are getting blowed up in here on these shallow banks, shallow points, shallow little pockets. And where this wind's pounding, it's just making the fish bite. It's a reaction bite. 
Um, it's got them feeding pretty good, but we'll see how it works out today. Well, we had all of our fish um, before one o'clock yesterday, so I'm really hoping, you know, I don't think it'll affect us much. We only had one keeper, I think, past 1.30, so hopefully we can get on them and catch them quick. Fish. Come on, keep him down. Easy. It's coming up. There she is. There we go, baby. Number one. It's number one. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's what lives here. All these windblown banks, that's all the fish we're catching right now. We've reached our first break in the show. Coming up next, we'll continue our on the water coverage from day two of the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open. Don't go away. Welcome back to final day coverage of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open at Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas. We go now to the second place team entering today, Ridge Rutledge and Wyatt Pierman from top 25 ranked Campbellsville University. Oh, thank you, little He's gonna go. The two Campbellsville University anglers enter today a mere two one hundredths of an ounce behind first place. They've returned back to the area that produced for them on day one and are continuing to get quality bites. Big. Let's go, baby. Let's get up in there. You can about call your shot here. Spare bait just came off. Good fish. Mm, that was a good one. You got six, fourteen. Two. From the second place team entering today, let's go on over to Hunter Barrow and Trey Marco. The two anglers from King University are currently in third, just over one pound behind first place. So yesterday we came in here, and we only had three keepers last thirty minutes of the tournament. And we had a keeper in practice that we caught about 150 yards up the bend right there. And um, we basically went up there, we caught one of our keepers up there. And we were just like, well, we have nothing else. We only got 30 minutes left in the tournament. We're just gonna keep fishing down through here. And we knew there was a lot of stumps and logs and brush down through here. Well, Trey started throwing the crankbait and I picked up a worm at the time. And we just started dragging my worm and throwing his crankbait and we literally caught like 10 fish in about the last 30 minutes and three of them were keepers and cold, uh, even got to cold once. Cold twice, didn't we? Cold twice, yeah. Um, so, um, we hope they're gonna bite this morning. I think, we think they're pushing bait up on these stumps and things like that, but there's probably a couple that could live on this place too. So it's just a main lake flat with some stumps that they can push bait up on it. Texas I got one. Net. That's probably a keeper trick. Yeah, he is. Ah, no. It's gonna be close now. Here, you get your fish. I'll get this. Yeah, oh, he's getting me short. Trey, this one might not be. Oh God, don't tell me that. No, never mind, he is. The bass are once again biting early and often here on Lake Darnell. Let's go back to the leaders from Murray State who are fishing moving baits along windblown banks. Yeah, yesterday uh, we caught one fish flipping, but uh, everything else we did, we was throwing moving baits. Once that wind picked up and the clouds come out, we realized that flipping wasn't the deal, so we just, Picked up spinner bait, and a, picked up spinner bait and a chatter bait, and uh, just went to work. Just trying to cover as much productive water as we can, effectively. 
Come on, come out of there. Go, baby. Number two. Okay. He's in that grass. In the grass? Yep. Well, he didn't caught before. He got a cut. Oh, all day. Oh, yeah. Keep number two. Thank you, Lord. Number two. Give me some. Uh, we got two good, solid 14-inch keepers. Uh, I'm feeling really good. Day one yesterday, we didn't. We just now had caught our first keeper. So, and the, the conditions are right for us. We got cloud cover. You know, we got some wind. Um, things, things are looking good. So we'll see if we can put it together. Just gotta keep it up, keep our minds in it. If yep. we do that, we can come in with five. Right you here. got him. There he is. About time. Man, we just had that fish hit my chatterbait twice. He cast over there and smoked it. So that's oh, good. Wait. I think that's number three, so we'll take it. Oh, come on. Keep pushing. Oh, that touches. It touches. Coming up after the break, we continue our on the water coverage from Russellville, Arkansas, and Lake Dardanelle here on day two of the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open, as well as taking a closer look at AFTCO, including their conservation initiatives and clothing line designed for anglers. Welcome back to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series and final day coverage of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. The title sponsor of this weekend's event, AFCO, is a longtime supporter of collegiate anglers and dedicated to growing the sport and preserving resources for future generations. At the forefront of AFCO's mission as a company is conservation. Everything we do with conservation, it just, it's our commitment to it. You know, something that we've been doing for a very long time, started on the saltwater side, we've now taken it into freshwater, whether it's you know, at the highest level to the lowest level, we're doing everything we can to help preserve these fisheries. But if it's as simple as picking up trash after ourselves, leaving it better than, than we came, or you know, help keeping care of our fish, make sure they get back to the lakes, and are you know, bringing new fish and in, into the lakes. This weekend at Lake Darnell, anglers have been putting their AFCO gear to good use as they stay warm and dry from the elements. AFCO produces high quality clothing and gear to match whatever conditions you may be facing out on the water. Yeah, I mean, everything we offer on our product line, whether it's the rain suits, you know, our reaper hoodies, the samurai sun shirts, the shorts, you name it. We have everything, you know, that you could possibly need for a day on the water, you know, and also off the water. You know, we added footwear to the line with our new boots. We now have tackle bags if you're a co-angler. Um, we kind of have everything under the sun, to be honest, just to make sure you're comfortable, dry, and have a good, enjoyable day on the water. Let's get back out on the water now with the day one leaders, Archer Smith and Jackson Kulioff from top 10 ranked Murray State, as they just boated what could be their fourth keeper. Keeper, number four, oh. little, but keeper. We're feeling pretty good. Uh, I, I just really think we need to come across, just keep fishing, keep the trawl motor in the water, and come across one of those three, three and a half, four pounders. I think we're doing the right thing. Given the conditions, you know, might, since the sun's out, might slow down, flip a little bit. Um, but I, I, I'm feeling good. From the day one leaders entering today, we go on over to the second place pairing from Campbellsville University. Oh, come on. No net for him. Dude, I thought that was a four pounder when it came out. I up. did too. I thought it was big. <laughs> a good two pounder though, ain't it? No. Come on with it. Number three. Uh, yeah. Uh, it started off decent. We got three keepers. Uh, it's I don't know. Let's see. Nine o'clock. So we had a limit yesterday by eleven. So hopefully we can keep going through our stuff and do the same. And hopefully get some good food. With time winding down here on the final day. Teams are grinding to fill out their limits before returning to weigh in. Wyatt and Ridge quickly boated their fourth keeper and need just one more quality bite to fill out a limit. You got us all you. Ah, baby. 
I don't know, maybe. Yeah, wait might be the move. Yeah, that helped a little bit. He was on nothing, was he? He was on that just little stick right there. Oh yeah, that one right there. I don't know, baby, that's number five. Number five. It's time now for our final break in the show. On the other side, we'll bring you weigh-in coverage from Lake Dardanelle State Park for the final day of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back to day two coverage of the APCO Collegiate Bass Open. This weekend's event is being contested at Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas. Located in central Arkansas, the city of Russellville offers a welcoming community and great opportunities to get outdoors. Russellville is a small town, but you get that hometown feel, but we're right on the interstate, so it's really easy to get to one of the larger surrounding areas. Again, that hometown feel, you know, we have lots of fun activities on the weekends, downtown, movies, all kinds of fun things, plus all the outdoor um, amenities as well. The lake is so special because it just brings all these fun activities and things for people to do in our community. Um, I tell people all the time we're blessed and we don't know how lucky we are since we live here and don't understand not having a lake. So we know we're blessed um, and it brings tons of these absolute best tournaments in, but we also get to enjoy it each and every day. Our sunsets are absolutely gorgeous. The next time you're planning a fishing trip or vacation to get away in the great outdoors, visit Russellville, Arkansas and Lake Darnell. Back at Lake Darnell State Park, the full field is returning to weigh in their final day's catch. The second place team entering today is looking to set the mark to beat and take over first place. Campbellsville University, Wyatt and Ridge, they had 1472 on day one. They need just 11 even today. 2571's first place, University of Tennessee. The day one leaders have already weighed in. They only had 1015. So right now, guys, you're gonna need 11 even. Set them in there. Do you have it? I don't know, it's gonna be close. Goes 13.41, they best that by almost two and a half pounds. For the weekend, 28.13, any big fish you want to try, 5.78's big bass. No to that, pull them out, hold them up for the camera. We got us a lead change. They jump into first by almost two and a half pounds. Ridge Rutledge and Wyatt Pierman from top 25 ranked Campbellsville University weigh in 13.41 pounds on day two for a two day total weight of 28.13 pounds. Uh, it feels pretty good. I've, I've been pretty tore up ever since that last 10 minutes of the day, just seeing if it was enough. And Lord willing, and thank God above, it was enough. So, With the Campbellsville Anglers now in the lead, challenging teams will need close to 16 pounds to be able to take over the top spot. Murray State University, Caden and Micah, 11.65 on day one. They've got five today. We need to go 16.49 to take the lead. It's not, but we're going to talk to you. 14.71, 5.78's Big Bass. Do you want to try one? Don't want to try big bass. Pull those out right there, men. That takes y'all at 26-36. Jumps you up into second place, Murray State, with two teams inside the top five at the moment. Caden Crutchfield and Micah Souders from top five ranked Murray State University move up from 13th on day one to finish the event in second with a total weight of 26.36 pounds. I don't think we expected to come down here. It's only our third tournament as a college anglers, and we just came out here and we're going to do our best, and it paid off. I thought we were capable of it. Uh, we fished together in high school as partners, so we've had some good experiences together and won some tournaments in high school. So uh, I knew we were capable of a good finish, but didn't really expect it as being one of our first tournaments, but I'm very happy we finished the way we did. And here's a look at the top 10 in the final standings for the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Ridge Rutledge and Wyatt Pierman from Campbellsville University finish in first place, besting their next closest competitor by more than a pound and a half. The victory earns them close to $7,000 in prizes and contingencies, as well as 1,750 points towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. I think it's really big for us and even bigger for him since it's his senior year. And with him being here the past two times and getting a top 25 finish, he wanted to come into this tournament with the win and sure enough we came out with it. Uh, we've been striving hard for that team of the year and this really helps us push into that so hopefully we can get some momentum going in the next few of tournaments and really jump us up in there in the top five and maybe top three. And following the second ACA double points event of the season, 
Here's a look at the standings for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. McKendry University holds on to the number one spot. Montevallo is in second, just 175 points behind first place, and Murray State University is ranked third. The top three teams are all separated by less than 300 points, making this one of the closest races in the history of the program. And with that, we'll conclude this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Thanks for watching our day two coverage of the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open. This has been a CareCo TV production.